Hello and welcome back to some competitive for the rings games. Right now we have Bear versus the Dream Team and the score currently is 1 vs 1 and the maps played were accuracy in both games with switch teams. Now we have Fate of Middle Earth and we have first game good side is the dream team with Sharky being Gondor and we have Icy as Ordo and Tori being the dwarves and the men of Lake Town. Then we have Marauder as the elves of Mirkwood and Lorien also controlling the Ents Bangor Forest and then we have Thorn Melkor Bauglir controlling Rohan and all its fortresses, also Rudin Forest. Then we have a baddie team with your clan. We have Damrod controlling Moria and also Tall Guldur. Then we have Beren, also known as Selagorm, who is controlling Old Land of Mordor. And we have Bar here, also known as Loft, who's controlling Umber, Parad, and Rune. And lastly, we have Dagnir, known as Polaris, and he's controlling Isengard and Dundland. So I guess we can start to 75. Now, let's see what's gonna. Happen. We see Aragorn on the move right away. Some rams moving, order moving, wars moving massively. Kill is not doing much, I guess, grouping just units. Bearing defenses. Oh, not doing much. He killed Aragorn. This is amazing. He snuck in with a transport ship filled with plumes and he sniped Aragorn. No army of the dead for the good players. This game is possibly already over. He did this amazing play when Aragorn was passing by, transport ship right behind the market and sniping Aragorn. And what's even better. He managed to get most of those plumed archers back. It's amazing. In time, we see Easterlings are pushing into. Is this Pelagrin? I guess so. I guess this is Pelagrin. And I guess he will want to get this bonus in as soon as possible. But it looks like he won't be. Maybe. Can he get this? Can he take both or can he take or castles? It doesn't look like it. One of the castles is going down before. Okay, so he got down another castle. Which is I guess a fair trade, just his tower remains. Let's see. What else? We have Elm's Teeth in back. But what is this? Dagnir is gonna lose his archers. He's gonna lose uh, 20 or so, I would say. That's a nice, really nice flank. Hard to attack Elm Steep because Gohan has so much cavalry and can outflank you really easily at the start of the game. Meanwhile, Sharky has had to flee into Minas Tirith, and someone said in the chat, end dead in ship, which is really bad. I assume Marauder sent his ends in a transport ship to Gondor maybe, I'm not sure where, but apparently all of them are dead, which is also really bad and this does not look good at all for the good side. Even though Thor managed to get this nice flag onto those Toon Blinding Archers and killing 20 or so. Frodo and Merry going to Edoras, maybe a Frodo rush is the thing that can save the day. It's possible. Looks like this area has been cleared. 
you say clear, but the castle and the units still remain. They are just hiding behind that castle because... I'm not sure what happened to those plumes. Did they... were used elsewhere? Okay, they were sent away to be used elsewhere. I guess those... Because Damrod said and said in ship, I guess he was the... He made the second big play as well. He got the transport ship with the end. But these units are gonna die less. And yeah, Red and Bill are gonna block all these units in. Oh, what, what, what is this? Dane's guard, but where is the guard of the kingdom? You need to use part of the kingdoms as well, otherwise, it's not gonna work. These are giants of Mordor. These are, and now you have Mordor half trolls and giants of Mordor. This was a bad engagement. What is gonna happen? Are those units gonna get away? Those units got away. I don't think any can anything can snipe it right now. And I see got stuck with some half trolls. It looks like Condor has been devastated completely. Condor didn't get the army of dead. All his units are either in ministers or just chilling out in Helmsteep because he had no other place to go. But Thorn coming in with another flank, killing 15, I think. Looks like 15 cavalry archers were taken down. And what is going on here? I see still getting flanked by some Hothmog scars and. Only 20 long range archers remain from that pack of 40. Looks like Lake Town sneak from this fortified wall was working out for a Celebon there. And what is going on here? Bondor had to retreat out but got stuck between Isengard and Easterlings. So. The Gondor and the Chilling and Helmsteep have been finished off. Meanwhile, Thorn trying to was trying to obviously help his teammate escape, but it didn't work. It doesn't it didn't seem like Thorn lost much? Looks like he's carrying the team right here. I see being I see being losing his archers, Marauder losing his Bebeer than all the other Ents to a snipe and Sharky losing Aragorn to a snipe as well. Oh, but what is this? What is, is Icy gonna pull this off? Guards of the Kingdom are going in. And the Burning and the Lake Town Knights are gonna make a surround or not. These Balrogs of Mordor are gonna be stopping this. I feel like they are really strong and I feel like they're gonna stop this blank. I feel like this other tank is not gonna work. It would be so good if it's gonna work. But this this meat is not gonna do it. And this still for ignites for oh. At the same time. Thorn is getting pushed in. Brother has a big engagement with Damrod. Looks like some of these archers may have died here. It's possible man. Uh, long range back. Oh, maybe some of them died, but not too much. Looks like Broder will have to retreat in, and this flank is still not working too well. He's not being able to kill all those archers, and now Border Rocks, Dolgoldil Trolls, coming to aid basically, and like this has been a really quick and aggressive game, but. Um, Oh, and what is this? Oh, they're getting trapped. How? How, how far are they going? How are they going to that way? Bear here is was basically coming from behind, and Damrod coming from the other side. Roder getting trapped between two players. Not good. Pisces barely holding. What is Thorn? Thorn has lost the Doras. One archer pack remains. Marietta of Rohan. I do hope that Frodo is in this pack. 
Is he in here in this pack? Or is he dead? Let's see if he's dead. Frodo is alive. He has to be in this pack. He's in this pack. This is the main cushion. This is the patch. This is the last ditch effort. Should use all these units. Sharky doesn't even have the tower guards yet. He has gained so little kills. Not even 300 kills in this match. And he has lost most of his units by the time. So he doesn't even get the tower guard bonus, which is a festive. Uh, well, not impressive, but much needed bonus in the early game. Okay, and Frodo is here, but he's already weakened. So this is not good. I don't think this is gonna work, and... Bump is coming from behind, getting all of those archers from Sharky. And... <laughs> Thorn is gonna just try and mash those... <laughs> a light infantry into the gap, but that's not gonna work. Frodo get past one time. <laughs> no. Frodo doesn't get past. Well. GG, this was a good quick game. It was I feel like this game was made out by Damrod with his MEP plays. Sniping Aragorn behind the market with his plumes. And then I assumed the ants were trying to transport themselves into Gondor, across the bay, or the Gilead, or maybe here. And he had this plume pack, I would say here then, and he just got them. And after that, basically Gondor got rolled, I guess, 2v1? I think Red helped as well. Well, Teal helped a little bit. Green was the main attacker locked, and then Selagorm and then Damrods contributing slightly as well. But uh, it was unfortunate that IC was not able to like uh, establish that flank. He had all those good cavalry, good infantry. He wasn't able to at first trap these. Uh, Units inside Dol Guldur, even though he went in, then uh, the baddies came here and started pushing behind those units that were initially sent in, but uh, there weren't enough men at the time to stop that and then maybe retreat out with those light cav that were in from Moroller, I think, and uh, some other units as well. And then the Danes guards were not able to kill those archers at the start of this push. And then, once Icy had retreated to Lake Down, he managed to lose his 20 archers from this little sneaky attack from Selagorn. And when he made this counter attack, it was unfortunate to see that uh, his uh, guards of the kingdom and Lake Town knights with burnings were not able to get past those balrogs and dragons because they were they were too much to handle for those units unfortunate for marauder getting sandwiched by two players over here perhaps uh, perhaps they should have tried to instead of helping gondor he could have tried to uh, make it so that damrod doesn't have the attention to fight two fronts as he sent his plumes here, but what if Marauder attacks Damrod before that time, tries to take down this Gondobat Tower and tries to push in, then Damrod doesn't have the time to basically uh, focus these plumed archers and snipe anything here, even if he would send, uh, if he would still send ends there. But I feel like Damrod wouldn't have the time to use so much of this uh, Dol Guldur force efficiently and then still uh, win this battle here because it's like he's fighting two versus one, two fronts at the same time, meanwhile Marauder is 
concentrating on the one front and he is more likely to win that. Isengard and Rohan. Really nice battles by Thorn. I think Thorn picked the best battles from this um, good side, from the team, uh, Dream Team side. Got those early plumes, got 20 of them, and then he got some other nice trades off as well, killing some green cavalry archers here that I saw, but I feel like he contributed more as well. Because he mainly was holding out Isengard for so long, and it's, uh, sometimes it's pretty hard to hold out as Rohan, especially since when Gondor just flat out tied uh, in this early in the game. And by the end of the game, the tower guard was uh, the bonus was reached, the second bonus, I feel like. Yeah, the second bonus was reached. I see getting the most kills though. Okay, I think it's time to look at the achievements then. See then. Sharky. Well, there's not much to say after he lost that Aragorn bonus, but it shouldn't have been that devastating. He should have just still managed to hold his own without uh, uh, Aragorn bonus. It, it's not basically once you if you don't get the Aragorn bonus, it doesn't mean the game is over. It's just a bonus. It's like there are still other ways to win. Amroth, even though not that many kills and more losses than kills, he was the MVP for the bad team. Getting those two snipes, killing a transport ship with uh, ends and sniping Aragorn was really, really big play. Obviously, Marauder got hit by two players, a lot coming from behind, and Teal. Damrod being pushing from the front at the end game, and obviously the loss of the ends really hurting his kill count here, right here. And locked doing some carry work here with the KD, stomping Gondor basically. That's why his uh, kill death ratio is so good. Agnir Polar is doing decently. Yes, well. Rohan didn't, um, Thorn didn't uh, really have the chance to use too efficiently his units and pick fights because at the end all the battle was brought to him instead of uh, fighting on the open fields of Rohan. He had to flee into his castle and basically sit there. And then obviously the Frodo snake failed and that's a lot of units lost as well. I see. Was it the guild death ratio? He did really well, but uh, R6, dwarves and the elves, uh, I mean dwarves and the lake town men are the most OP civ considered in fate, so like it's expected to do so well, but I guess it's medium because he wasn't able to pull off the flank, which is really bad for him, and Telagorn being Positive kill death ratio, I guess, because he had these Balrogs and dragons protecting his archers. He was able to chew through those elites, lanes, guard and guard of the kingdom, and like down knights and burnings and all that. He was, he was in a good spot and got a lot of kills and didn't really lose most of his archers. And of course, did really well as well. Well, I guess. I guess that's it. I do. There is. There was one more game in the set, but uh, I'm not gonna record that it, because it was almost three hours long, and I don't think it's worth it. But um, after this game, uh, it was two one for the pair clan, and after the fourth game, it was three one for the pair clan. So those were some friendly competitive games, if you can call them friendly, because there is. I don't know, some rivalry and obviously player six I see being the being the biggest asshole in the community usually brings up a lot of shit. So but that's it for this game and this 
set of games between the Dream Team and Fur Clan. Bye!